So welcome to the last video on probability rules. Um, this time we're going to be talking about conditional probability. So this is probably um, the most difficult one, so we left it to last. Uh, but here's the rule anyway written in math. So it's P of A, and then it's a straight line down. B um, is equal to P of A intersect B divided by P of B. And this P of A kind of slash B, that means the probability of A happening given that B has already happened. I think I have uh, misspelled there. There should be two P's, but anyway. Um, yes, the probability of A happening, happening given that B has already happened. Um, so this is probably best explained as an example, so that's what we're going to do now in a second. So let me scroll down and I'll set one up. So here's our example here. I'll just scroll down a little bit further. Um, so remember, this is the formula we're going to use. It's conditional probability. So there are 30 students in a TY class. 10 went to a Gwail school, 15 got an A in Junior Cert Irish, um, 8 students who went to a Gwail school got an A in Junior Cert Irish. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to draw a quick um, Venn diagram just to kind of get our heads around the problem. A big box, circle, circle, it's going to be 8 in the middle, and there's going to be 2 here and 7 here, and then and there's going to be 13 right here. So this is G for Gwail school, this is A for got an A, and then everything else, U is equal to 30. Grand, okay? Um, so again, 10 went to a Gwail school, so 2 and 8. Um, 15 got an A in Junior Third Irish, 8 and 7, and there's 13 who uh, didn't go to a Gwail school and didn't get an A, so we don't really worry about those for the moment. So um, this is kind of what conditional probability is. So I'll start with part 1. So we know um, probability that a student went to a Gwail school is going to be 10 over 30. 10 over 30 or 1 over 3, okay? And then also a probability that a student got an A. So 15 got an A, so that means half of them. Um, it's 15 over 30, and that's equal to half, okay? But we can see that a lot of the students who went to a Gwail school also got an A. So what we're trying to find out um, is if we know that a student went to a Gwail school, then is the probability that they got an A in Irish, is it going to be the exact same? Is it still going to be half? Or is it going to be higher? So that's the, it's a condition because we already know something, it'll change the probabilities. Um, and that's sort of what this formula will help us figure out because it's pretty hard to figure it out otherwise. Uh, you need to know, you need to use the formula. So this only, this formula only matters for dependent events. Uh, if the two events were independent, then um, the formula wouldn't really work. You just get the same answer. Uh, if they were independent, then you then it would still be a half. So the answer to the first one would still be a half, and the answer to the second one would still be one over three. But since they're dependent, um, then we can use the, the conditional probability formula. So anyway, if we know that a student went to a Gwell school, what is the probability they got an A in Irish? Um, so I'll change to green for this. Scroll down a little bit. Um, so we want to know P of, uh, so given they went to a Gwell school, the probability of getting an A. So P of A line G. Okay, so just don't get confused with the order. Um, and that's equal to P of G U A divided by P of G. So that's the probability of them getting an A given they went to a Gwell school. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you do have to kind of get used to that order. Um, and this one on top, G and A, that's going to be 2 over 30, because there's, um, sorry, not 2 over 30, my mistake. That's going to be 8 over 30. Um, 8 over 30 because there's 8 students who um, went to a Gwail school and got an A divided by the probability of getting a Gwail school which is 1 over 3 and that means that probability they got an A given they went to a Gwail school is going to be equal to 0 0.8 okay and so we see that that's different than the probability that of a normal student getting an A and um, yeah so that's just kind of what we're trying to figure out so it's a given a certain piece of information the probabilities change the next one I will try to squeeze in here, part two. Um, I should probably scroll down, but I just want to keep it all on the one page. So now we're looking for P of G line A, and these things aren't going to be the same. P of A line G won't be the same as P of G line A. So on top, it's still going to be the same. It's still going to be G um, and A, or G intersect A. But on the bottom, it's going to be divided by P of A. So you always divide by the second um, the second letter in this formula here. 
So in this case, that's going to be on top, it's still going to be 8 over 30. And then divided by the probability of A is equal to a half. So our final answer then is going to be 8 over 15. You can break that down into a decimal point as well if you want. Yeah, so that's basically how to do conditional probability questions. Um, what the, the actual kind of number doesn't matter so much. It's more like the important thing to know is that this is going to be different. So the answer of P of G given A is going to be different to just the probability of going to a Guelph school. So that's just the important bit, that that 8 over 15 is different from the third, and that 0 0.8 is different from the half. Um, so yeah, again, hopefully that all makes sense. We're going to do one more example in the next video, but that's the, the main idea, just that you know that um, conditional probabilities are going to be different, uh, how to use it, um, and you need to learn the formula off as well. I'll just scribble that down. Um, learn formula, because I don't think it is in the, in the tables book. So you need to learn that formula off. Um, not 100% not sure about that one. So that's conditional probability. In the next video, we're just going to do one question that kind of has a um, one part on each of the different probability rules. Uh, and then we'll be done with the probability rules. So just a few videos. And then after that, we will start looking at uh, tree diagrams. So there, you can make a pretty complicated question with tree diagrams and conditional probability. But anyway, that's it for this video. We will see you in the next video where we do a recap question.